What a weekly so far. And by what a weekly, I mean... How much do you guys like seeing, um... This is distracting. <laughs> I hate this background already. It keeps the music running too, huh? Is that, is that normal? Can we return the menu? Okay, I'm sorry. I, I don't want to do this. But if you keep the music running the whole time, you're disrupting my chi. P put me on... Put me back in the jungle, please. Not the lava cave. There we go. Much better. The idyllic sounds of the jungle. I don't think a pill bug is that good. Even though there's two of them. And you know I don't say that lightly. Because, like, a pair used to be the most important thing for me to find. And maybe some weeklies it does matter. But for this one, I think our early game, we know what's up. You get, a, you get some two threes. You get some mosquitoes. And then you're feeling good. And honestly, part of the reason we've gotten so many 10 pieces this weekly is probably because we played the test build more than the average person. Not more than everybody, but more than the average. The other reason is, in my opinion, because we... Uh, let's do it like that. Um, I mean, we've been cracked in the early game. My early game system is, is working like as expected... Uh, this weekly, at least. Not every weekly, unfortunately, but this weekly. There's some weeklies I can't bio in early, but this weekly is like, you just take mosquitoes, you take uh, you take marmosets and ducks, and, and then you worry about the pivot afterwards. I am tempted, and I think I'm going to run an econ build. Let me dump you and run a magpie with a swan. The magpie is like maybe a half-decent swan enabler, and then take your level, and obviously, like, in the future, we're looking for a gazelle. We saved one gold to use next time as well. Just let's, might as well get in the habit. <laughs> Lord knows I'll probably make some mistakes. Looks great to me so far. Still looks good. Okay, so we're going to have 11 spendable gold. We're looking for a gazelle. You, we don't need to level you. Don't don't lose sight of that. I would say not good enough. I would definitely say good enough. I'm going to say dump this moth. Get two... Oh, a gazelle, idiot. <laughs> almost, almost lost my mind there. Sure, put a mosquito up here. If we end up pivoting to sniping at some point, it could make a big difference. And then we don't want to spend the gold because we want the gazelle to pop next turn. So in my opinion... We probably... Listen. We definitely lose this round. But next round... Next round, we come out swinging. Probably don't need to have a mosquito frozen. I'm willing to do this. I'm willing to get a little goofy with it, okay? I mean, this round, we have nothing. But next round... We basically, we bought an anti-cupcake. We spent gold to say we're definitely going to lose this round. And when I said they were amazing, what I meant is they're three fours. Which actually, they're not going to be three fours though. Because we need our swans to have more attack than you. Which is going to take a long time. <laughs> a croissant doesn't do it. But, a, a, wait, no, sorry, I was going to say a cupcake doesn't do it. A croissant will do it, but it'll take a, a little time. You should level. It's The math is perfect. So it might take us another couple of rounds to get the order right. Because we need the swans to have more attack than the gazelle. Which is not an easy thing to set up. Especially because the gazelles get stronger every turn. Or should, at least. Okay, we got we got one of them to go there. A meerkat makes perfect sense. I guess we should put one, you on top of the other. Although we do get one extra gold. I think it's worth a try, at least. Not interested. Although, maybe a cucumber on a gazelle. Doesn't screw up the stats too much. We need to save two gold, which means we should stop right here. For next turn, I guess I'd rather have a level three gazelle and then we'll talk about this, this meerkat situation. 
I need to spend one more gold to get the buff. <laughs> it's okay. We're, we're going to save it for a turn because of the, the magpie buff. No, no, you still got it because the, the savings counts as spending. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. <clears throat> she moves in mysterious ways. So we basically chose to lose three rounds in a row. I'm starting to doubt this, my decision-making process here. But then, combine me. I mean, you have to cow me. It sucks that we're not going to have two meerkats out for that, but... And then you got to sell me. And then you meerkat me. And then you gotta, you gotta add some milk to the swan so that it gets out ahead of the gazelle. Like, we can wait to give you this buff. And we need to save two gold. If we have to buy... No, salad is a little dangerous. I would much rather just put a grape on somebody. It makes perfect sense. Okay, thank you for buffing yourself. I really appreciate this. You're, you're too kind. Even the new health system might not give us enough uh, leeway for this squad to work. But man, oh man. If we make it to round 36, you guys are going to be so sorry. Be careful who you make fun of in middle school. I don't believe it. Okay, we got a win, which is not only great because we get a win, but it's great because it means we didn't get a loss. Huge if true. So you're still so far ahead of the game here, but whatever. Take that. Go ahead and take this. And then we got to buy two things, right? And we got to stay on two gold? Okay. Salad me and don't hit... You hit each other? Are you kidding me? And then why don't... Honestly, why don't you just eat a blueberry? If you get sniped, that's like so much less bad for us than either our swan or our, uh, our gazelle getting sniped. And there are a lot of snipers. Feeling a little um, pessimistic about this one because I have eyeballs. Um, holy cow, we lost, but only by a little. <laughs> Is there still a shot? Maybe a, an insane early bird of paradise level? At least they can stop buffing each other now. Go ahead. Tiger, like... It doesn't do anything. Just one good standalone unit would hit the spot. And honestly, like, probably the best standalone unit is, like, you. I would have liked it maybe if you weren't the one to get the buff. Just simply be... I'm not trying to be a hater, but, like, you literally just showed up on the squad and swallowed up a buff that we've been waiting for on our swan for weeks, but whatever. Okay, double links is obviously just the end of the world for us. We summoned a dog instantaneously. Okay, well, you know what? Honestly, I reaped what I sowed, and now the rest of the community will sow what they reaped. What do you mean by this insane statement of nondescript vengeance? Well, I mean, like, we, we tried to run something a little goofy. It'd be like a pink tea bag. And the, the, they said, no, enjoy your links. And guess what? I will enjoy my links. Now I will enjoy my links as I rain down links upon the rest of the Super Auto Pets community. And then as well, check the Super Auto Pets subreddit. Is anyone else sick of the amount of links this week? I cross-reference your username. Hall of Fame. Links, 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 links. Shut up. <laughs> World's sanest man goes on unhinged rant. Okay, we just want the level. We don't want a level 2.33 Marmoset. It doesn't give us enough. Do appreciate the stats, but stats can come in a variety of different sources. So far, so good. So far, so good. Two wins early. Some things never change. I still like a pug. Really helps us get the links out there later. I don't think the croissant is, is that incredible. You at least enable a 2-2 two -two spawn. I don't think a blueberry is that good right now. I think it will be good later. Okay, in this case, I would probably... I mean, honestly, we want to unwind the marmoset at some point. Maybe we wait till next round. Sell a single mosquito. We didn't get the pop-off for it. 
buff you so you have a little bit more in the stats department. Okay, this is our this is our in vivo pivot. We're pivoting, you know, in in the middle of the in the middle of the thing, and that's okay. Possibly. Oh, it's okay, definitely. Now we gotta we're slowly unwinding a little bit more. I would sell a moth. I would add a uh, cricket next time. We can add it for now to improve our rolls. Because we could if we have to, we could just pop this on top of you. Okay, now now it's put up or shut up time. We want our level next time to give us a links, is essentially the the, the secret here. So why don't you take this? And the pugs aren't going anywhere, so even though I don't think it's that good, why don't we give a pug a croissant? It'll probably pay dividends over the course of the next, you know, 10 rounds. Great start. You're a level one. That's beautiful for us. Smartest cupcake ever purchased, version 2.0. Maybe, maybe. Now, we want to see a lynx. God, it would have hit the spot. I was feeling it too. <laughs> Which just proves how little validity I was feeling it actually has in matters of probability. But I digress. People don't want to hear it from me. Forget about level three cricket. It's not that relevant. We need something. I'm, I'm going to stat up. I know it's a little weird here. But we, we, need to add, we need to add some kind of value to the team. And, and the swan is not it. But we're sunk in right now. We need that links. We could wait another. We could wait another turn. We can probably wait another two turns for a links. They got their own spawning build. I'm scared and not scared at the same time because I I know. Well, I'm gonna lose. But we know turtle builds go a little hard, but not that hard. I faced you before, Mel Monk. <laughs> Please tell me you weren't running that double links team earlier. I'll lose my mind. Roll me. Certainly feels like maybe now is the time to hedge your bets a little bit. I'm salading again. These are not the units that I wanted to see with the salad. Let me tell you. That's pretty good. But we're... We're definitely, even though we have four wins, which is actually not just a, even if we ended with four wins, it wouldn't be the most horrendous result we've ever seen. That's just mathematically true. Um, this is a loss as well, by the way. Ooh, yes, it is. Um, but we need just a little hump to push us over. Just a little one. Doesn't have to be Marmoset sold into Osprey. Doesn't have to be a level three cricket, which they've tried to give us 20 times in a row. I would definitely take this. Ostrich, if an empty front space, push the nearest friend ahead. Yes, okay, this is the pivot. We sell, we run the ostrich, helping out the muskox here. We are gonna try to unwind the marmoset. It, it, it did suck up several buffs, which is not great for me, but let's see if, if our ox is a little bit better as a result of this ostrich. I haven't really given the ostrich a whole lot of respect. Maybe, maybe that's about to change. Right now we're getting crazy value. It's 3v3, but we get a little extra HP. Very nice on a, on a pug for sure. I'm feeling pretty solid. I'm feeling great. Now if only it could push itself up. Hey, it still gets the, the health, I forgot. Okay, I told you, I told you we had a little something going on here. Level. Th five, two, three, one. Is this, it's, it must be my birthday. Poodle's a little slow, but it's, it's not nothing. And then honestly, like we're getting very close to a level three pug, which would create a level three muskox as well. I think uh, we should be putting honey on a couple other animals as well. Eh, maybe not. I don't know. Because like, I'm like, you can't really put honey on a cricket. But no, you could, as long as you didn't have it in the exact front position to start, which is fine, because it would be moved to the front after. Okay, maybe. Maybe there's something to that. What did you eat that spat out a level 2 a copy? Or do, do I have things backwards? It was a level 2 spider? It was a level 1? No? Okay, whatever. We got you. <laughs> it's... You were cooking something there. I'm scared of it. Wow. Okay. Um, 
sure, I'll take a level two ostrich, and then the musk ox will hit level three here. We would still like honey. Um, we can. Th there's no reason to move the cricket until we add like honey on a poodle. I don't know if we would, we would put honey on. We'd put honey on a cricket too, probably. Now that I think about it. Okay, you're gonna go a little sicko mode. Congratulations. You're still going sicko mode. This is highly unfortunate. <laughs> now we see if we could get the job done. I mean, a 2143. That's still a strong unit, dude. Are you gonna summon? No, you already had the pterodactyl play. We're, we're gonna make it. Now, who would have thought that when I assumed that I was going to be rolling links? Nah, man. We, we found another way. So we can run you at the front, you back, you take one of these. I'm, that might not give us an extra play. It would have on the poodle for sure. Or an, ex, an extra trigger on the ox, I mean. Let's see how it shakes out. But now that I'm thinking, I'm like, I don't think it does. Because you can't have two units in front of you at the same time. Maybe it'll mess up the triggers a little bit, though. Maybe it will. I don't know. That's a little copium, but it did not mess up the triggers at all. It's not a huge deal. It's th three semi-wasted gold. And we're looking totally fine. We are at win seven. I'd like a little more gas, for sure, but it's pretty good. So you naturally hitting level three. It's probably not that relevant compared to like Poodle stats or even Emu stats, but... But it feels nice. Yeah, I can't deny that it feels nice. We could always move you back here. Yeah, why not? Still good. And I think this actually does make a difference. I think we got a shot. We're not scaling as fast as some teams, but we, we got really nice stats in battle. My squad. I think this is looking fantastic. Even though you've got a level three muskox, I'm sweating at 0%. Oh no, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> What happened? How did that happen? Was, was that due to some sniping? I gotta go back and watch the tape. Okay, get ready on the pause button. Because of you... No, no, okay. The front space will be empty. The pug will move up. No, the unit in front. The ostrich has to be at the back. Okay. I don't know why I thought it went back to front. You should take this. You should move up, essentially, just to move. It doesn't really matter if you get a level. You're going to be level 3 to begin with, which is crazy. You're going to be level 3. Okay, like, it's basically, at this point, just like, why not? You're going to push the unit directly in front of you out there. You're going to, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess you'd rather have, like, a level 3 cricket. It's a very badge-heavy potential game here. I'm ready to eat my words, because what I'm going to say is that this team doesn't look that scary. Like, even our pug is quite strong. They are going to summon, like, a, a dog of a relatively prodigious size. But he's not that prodigious. He's just relatively prodigious. No! <laughs> Whatever. We still got it, but it feels like maybe I... I Maybe I should not have put honey on a cricket in there. Great series of wins, though. I now no longer feel like I just need to run links nonstop. Ooh, a long ball cap. How about that? Isn't that cute? I think I got one more in me today. Why not? I don't think you need a moth. If you had to take a moth, sure, but I don't think you need one. I think a squad is pretty good. I'll be a, um, a broken hand. Remember, remember when I screwed up my thumb? You can still, I'm not gonna hold it close to the camera. Do have a little bit of a subungual hematoma. That is, uh, I read WebMD speak for a little bit of blood trapped under your fingernail. But it's working its way through. It's been almost three weeks since the since the event now. It just takes a while for the the fingernail to grow. Quite frankly, I guess I'm I'm going stats.
I am going stats. He's losing his stats. And I am reaping all the benefits. Hey, hey, anti-moth technology. People say it never works. It worked that time, okay? It almost never works. Every now and then it works. But also, every now and then, I fall apart. Not, do not wasp me under any circumstances. Yes, I know we ran it last time. Guess what? I'm running it again. We probably say goodnight to the mosquito dream here. I don't think that sometimes we peak round two. This team looks like it does fine on round three. The Okapi is quite strong. But the other thing is if we can beat an Okapi, like a, a, a juiced Okapi, we can do anything. Oh, we can do anything. Because they invested like six rerolls into those stats and we still got the dub. Doesn't it seem messed up, by the way, that they can put six rerolls out? And get the stats for one run for themselves, but then that team gets flash instanced in the ecosystem, so everybody else that ever plays has to deal with the six rerolls that they wasted. Now they don't get any reward for wiping out the other teams asynchronously, but they know that they made the world a little worse, which for some people out there, some sick people derive pleasure out of that. It's disgusting. I would roll. I would still roll. I would talk, I would talk about adding a turtle to the team. I'm not sold on it yet, but I would, I would begin discussions on adding a turtle to the team next. The next thing we definitely want to see, though, is like a lynx, as always. Okay, we're going to get mad this time, and that's okay. You got me? Frog, poot, you got a better squad. Can't deny it. Better squad, better person. Sell me? By me. We got some work to do here. Nothing's really great here. Also pretty bad. Not really good. <laughs> it's not really good at all either. But um, At the very least... Okay, now we're talking to some extent at least. Uh, this round might be lost. But next round we got some goofy stuff. I lived, somehow. That life might prove to be extremely important. My god, I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't believe it. Living there changed everything. Okay, what do you do here? Don't buy your level 3 cricket yet. Take it on the... Are you kidding me? Take it on the level up next time. You might as well take some extra HP. Just we, we got to spend something reasonable here. Level two muskox has got me thinking that we're we're doing okay again, especially since every single team we play is running the exact same squad. They also have a pineapple on a spider. I don't know how that happened, but everybody makes mistakes. A little lucky on that one, but I'll take it. Now we got to unwind this marmoset too, even at six five. And that makes us a little vulnerable, but I love the idea of, like, a beluga that eats a cricket or something. So why don't you sell me? Toss me out here. It doesn't have to be a cricket, but that's, like, an easy one to get some value. And we're just saying no to the lynx right now. And the reason is because it, if it showed up earlier, it would have been on site. I would have used it for sure. But it's just not the right, it's not the right play right now. Roll me. Okay. So weird looking team. It's it's not nearly as good as our last team, but we do have five wins in six rounds. Like it's it's not quite as as dominant, but it's it's no slouch. Like like don't let lifestyle creep affect you here. We're like we're doing pretty well. They, this team is much better, and it's almost doing like exactly the same thing that we're trying to do. Wait a minute. Hold no, nah, this the the level two turtles making a huge dent. We got we didn't even get that close. I wanted to say we got pretty close, but we didn't really. That's that's just a better team. Okay. It's fine. I would love to get an ostrich, man. I guess that won't happen till next round. An osprey? Technically you eating an osprey is probably better for us, because we'll also get a dog out of it. But is it, or eating a rooster for that matter. 
maybe. I mean, I don't see it being a huge boon, but it's something. Eating another rooster? <laughs> we need the muskox to be level two. The turtle being level two is secondary, but also important. That's why I'm hoping we'll get some chocolate or some matches before things go too far. Also, having not gotten a second pug is kind of driving me crazy, but uh, I'm, I'm choosing to persevere. I'm choosing not to let it break my stride. I think we win this one anyway. We've been getting some soft teams. Like, we've been getting teams where you just look at the squad and you're like, you put a, a donut on your duck with like no buffers. Maybe you did it early, so I'm, maybe I'm just being a, a you know what for no reason, but honey not required. Money always required, but there's only so much we can do here. Chocolate, oh, even better, they just gave us a default yak. I would take that, and now we're talking maybe, and our, our pug no longer has to be here. Interesting to know, but we're talking about maybe having a level three turtle soon. How much does that help us? It's not none. I think it's. I think the answer is some. <laughs> to to be as uh, definitive as I want to be, level two badger. I'm mad. I'm officially mad. Yep. Here comes the madness. Fair enough. I've run the honey badger myself. I, I, it's like looking into a mirror. Well, we keep the pug. And then instead we run a level three muskox. Oh, even better. And then, okay, so we're probably dumping the pug next time. Probably dumping the pug next time. What's our cricket doing? I know. I know. Maybe we sell the cricket before the pug because the cricket's not doing much for us. There's got to be better spawn enablers. Like, I, I must have, like, a little bit of a blind spot right now. And they're going to have a very strong ox here. Because it's going to be behind the dog as well. I think we definitely lose this one. Just a smarter team, honestly. We're not even in the in competition for this one. So we're going to be on lethal. We could do that ourselves, but we need to get some trumpet enablers, like, ASAP. So level me. Listen, it's not bad for you to be spat out by the white whale. You're not giving anybody a level. But here's the thing. You could. And you're not doing enough for us. So you're gone. You're in. We're buying for you and you. We're selling. We're buying. We're rolling. Level two pug. Would we really feel comfortable running four squatted? No, we would not. What I would feel comfortable doing is... I think Turkey beats Ostrich here. Although like, it's just, it's so annoying that they'll run it. Like, okay, let's say you put in an emu, okay? And you put it at the back because it gets you one extra trigger, which really helps out your muskox. So you put your emu at the back, then you would move your turtle up a little bit because your turtle being moved up means it actually doesn't get sent out as fast, which means you can get better scaling out of it. And you would just give three, three to everybody you would give four health to the nearest friend, which would also give you an extra trigger, which would give you three sick. Okay, you have to. And then you run like, you might even run it like this. And I know this looks crazy, but you waste the pug's XP, so it goes first, summons the honey. You get two triggers if you live. Then you push the beluga to the front, it dies, you get a trigger. The front space will be empty, and then it'll push the turtle up. You die, nothing happens. The bee dies. There's an empty space. Turtle goes to the front. Turtle dies. Beluga gets pushed to the... Or sea turtle gets... Beluga gets pushed to the... Sea turtle gets pushed to the... Beluga gets pushed to the... Normally, if there was no movement happening, obviously we would want the turtle at the back. With the emu, probably. But I, I think for what we're doing, this makes sense. <laughs> Just want to run it one more time. You die. Like, wasting the pug ability is whatever, because we get those stats come to us tenfold in the form of the muskox triggers. You die, we get two triggers, the space is empty, the sea turtle moves up. What do we lose? We lose the extra stats we would get on the rooster and the chick. What's the alternative? You do it like this, you die, you make an empty space after the bee, the beluga gets moved up, 
The problem with the beluga getting moved up is when it dies, the front space will be empty, and then the sea turtle will go to the front anyway. So we're not missing a trigger either way, I think. Because it, it's hard to imagine you got to put on your chest brain a little bit, but like, we'll, there will only be four spaces by the time that unit dies. Now, they, I, I think it's all academic anyway, because we might just be losing here. But I think no matter what, we were going to miss the rooster to chick buff. Do I stand by that? No, not in the slightest. Maybe the front space wouldn't have been empty. Now that I look at it, because even though there were not five units, the front space was still full. Okay, we won. <laughs> I, I took too much time puzzling out that last move. I've only got five minutes till I got to leave for daycare. <laughs> we don't want a level, though. We, we want a better unit with honey on it. It's true. So we don't level your pug. Mammoth is good, but it's my two cents. Don't shoot the messenger. I feel like it's a little overrated. Roll me. Don't level the pug. If anything, you spit out a level two. Yeah, sure. Level, level you, maybe. You, what did you eat? Donkey. Not good. Pretty, pretty dumb, honestly. Could I get you to spit out something that spits out something at least? Roll me. Take a... Take honey? I don't know. That'll be weird. <laughs> and then let it ride. Uh, I don't know if that makes any sense. We replaced our rooster with a spider. And then we put honey on the beluga to do it. I don't know if we're getting extra triggers out of that, but... You move to the front. You get some stats. You spit out a spider, you spit out some honey. Okay. Definitely not what I would drew up in the in the laboratory on that one. And yet. And yet. Would you look at this? He's done it. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I what I got going on and what I got going wrong here. Because obviously you, you pop out like a turn too early. Or like the, the yak gets moved up a turn too early. Let, let's just, honestly, I'm too lazy to run the analysis. I'm just, I'm willing to admit to my flaws like that. Let's set it up like this and see if maybe this changes it and maybe the yak doesn't get moved up so fast. The sniper could easily screw this whole thing up for me. <laughs> uh, yes, that is exactly what happened. Now my squad order looks absolutely heinous. What are you going to spit out? What are you going to spit out here? Well, it's okay. We had fun either way. I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Rocket drop! Let me preview. Ooh! Now we're talking. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!